Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good morning to you. It is Friday, December 4th. God bless every single one of you. Hope you have a great Friday today. Uh, we do have some severe thunderstorms that is moving through the states today. Uh, most of it is going to be going towards the East Coast, and we got a big problem on the East Coast. Uh, it's going to get strong around South Carolina and North Carolina and move its way towards Virginia and Maryland. Uh, we also got a 2 out of 10 Torcon for tornadoes on the coast of North Carolina today. So that's something to remember. Now, as I play this for you so you can see everything that is going on, we have it going on in Tennessee this morning. It's going to be spread out along uh, Alabama. And then if you see the timestamp on the top left, this goes on sporadically all the way until afternoon. But once we hit the afternoon is when it starts meeting up as severe storms really bad. Now, it gets around 4 p.m., and you can see it around South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia, and it does spread out really nice. But when, it, when you see all this yellow and all this red, and it's moving very slow, there could be some flash flooding also that could occur. Now, this is at 4 o'clock in the morning, uh, th this morning. My apologies, I was looking at the top left. It's at 7.30 tonight, 4 o'clock in this morning. We got Alabama, Tennessee, and Mississippi that's, I mean, uh, Georgia is having problems. Now, as this moves towards the coast, towards later tonight, when it gets around 9, 10 o'clock, you can see how it bursts up around North Carolina and Virginia and goes towards Maryland. Now, this is some pretty bad storms, guys. Uh, let me rewind it a little bit for you so you can see it as it moves through. This is starting at 5 o'clock this afternoon, and it starts getting really heavy, and it starts spreading out amongst all three states. Now, this is going towards the coast, but like I said, North Carolina does have that slight chance for tornadoes this afternoon. But as you get in towards 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock tonight, it gets really rough, especially for Virginia and Virginia Beach area. Now, as it goes towards Maryland in the morning, you see it moving to the northeast. And this is where all that uh, thunderstorm slash snow comes into effect. Now, this is all the way until 6 o'clock, mostly 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And we have storms for Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, also going towards Maine. Now, as you get into tomorrow through the day, you can see that the snow that comes down is going to be sporadic for Connecticut, Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire. But when it gets a little bit later in the afternoon, it gets even heavier snow for Massachusetts, southeast um, uh, uh, New Hampshire, uh, but mostly you can see right here in Massachusetts, it gets really heavy. Then when it gets towards Maine later, this is getting towards 5 o'clock tomorrow night. This is when the heavy snowfall falls in Maine, and it will be falling all night long. Look how heavy that snow is. And then it's going to go all the way until the morning before it finally leaves. So it is going to be sporadic for people in this area. Uh, however, it is going to be some snowfall. It is going to be hit and miss, though, as you can see with Connecticut Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire. Some of them got snow, some of them got rain. So it is going to be a little bit of hit and miss uh, in that area. But the main thing, this is snowfall is for tomorrow. So we got to watch out for these thunderstorms that we have for today. Today is going to be some bad storms. And once we get into noontime, that's right about noontime, right about there, you can see the storms move in and go towards the Carolinas. And that's when it gets really rough, when it gets towards the Carolinas, Virginia, uh, the East Coast over there. You look at it. This is right at 11 o'clock tonight. And this is some bad storms, guys. These might uh, pop up a few tornadoes in this area for North Carolina, especially some water spouts, that's for sure. Now, let me play this for you from the beginning so you can see exactly what goes on in your area so you get a little better look of what's going on. But it is going to be some flash flooding. If you see how slow that's moving, you look on the top left, that is hours of that swath of rain moving by, and that's going to be one to two inches within that yellow band. So if you, if you have it for two or three hours, you're going to get about two or three inches of rain, that's for sure. Now, yesterday was Matthew 13. Today is Matthew 14. And God bless you all. hope you have a great day today. At that time, Herod... The, the tetrarch, tetrarch heard of the fame of Jesus, of Jesus, and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead. And therefore mighty works do shew for, forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias' sake. 
his brother's his brother Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude, because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before being before instructed of her mother, said, Give, give me her here John Baptist's head in a charger. And the king was sorry. Nevertheless, for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison, and his head was brought in a charger and given to the, to a, to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took, took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence by, by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion towards them. And he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him saying, This is a... A, de a desert place and at the time and the time is now past send the multitude away and they may go into the villages and buy themselves victuals but, but Jesus said unto them they need not depart give ye them, them to eat and they say they say unto him we have here but five loaves and two fishes he said bring them hither to me and he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes, and looking up to heaven, he blessed and break, and gave the loaves to his disciples, and his disciples to the multitude. They did eat, and were filled, and they took up the fragments of the remaining twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about five thousand men, besides women and children. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship, and to go before him unto the other side, while, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was, was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea, and when his, the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come, come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they were in the ship. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of, of a truth, Thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Genesaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into they sent out into all the country round about and brought unto him all that were deceased, diseased, sorry, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Amen. God bless you all today, especially the ones that's in these storms today. It is going to be a flooding event later on this afternoon, I do believe, for the Carolinas. It's going to start around 5, 6 p.m. So South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, uh, Maryland, and West Virginia. Be aware, these storms will be coming this afternoon into tonight, and they will be some fierce storms, bringing a lot of wind and a lot of rain, especially for the East Coast of North Carolina. Watch out for those uh, those winds, those winds can really can bring you some tornadoes and really bring issues to you and your house tonight. So God bless you all. Have a great Friday today, guys. 
I appreciate you for watching. All glory does go to God. Amen.